Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Chris Cab, and you guys are watching my exclusive, most requested live Ask Anything chat. Thanks to Romeo and iHeart for having me on tonight, and my brand new single, Just Wanna Love You, featuring J Balvin, is out right now. Let me jump right into this. Let's see what's going on. I'm gonna answer you guys' questions here. We've got LJ from Lexington. What's your favorite band? Uh, my favorite band is probably the Rolling Stones. They inspire uh, a lot of what I do in my music. And they probably inspire me so much because uh, their music is a, is a fusion of a lot of different styles. My music's a, a fusion of a lot of different styles. So that's probably why I pull from them a lot. And I love Mick Jagger, I love their attitude. I love what they stood for and I love their energy. We got Jill from Des Moines. What's the coolest thing about J Balvin? The coolest thing about J Balvin is probably his chameleon, his chameleon-like hairstyle. He always has different color hair to match his outfits. I think that's pretty cool. We got Mary from Fort Erie. When will we see you on tour? Um, I'll probably be on tour this summer. I'm doing a lot of radio promotion right now, promoting my new song featuring my brother J Balvin. It's called Just Wanna Love You. So. After I finish up the rounds, I'll definitely be headed out to your town soon. We've got Viv from Long Island. She says, describe your dreams coming true and all the things you've done so far this past year. Well, I, I, I've been playing the guitar since I was nine years old and, and it was kind of a dream since then to, you know, to do what I love on a larger format. And, and since then, it's everything's, you know, been going amazing. And a lot of uh, people I wanted to meet, a lot of things I wanted to do have happened. I got to link up with Pharrell, who's my mentor, who, um, you know, who's inspired me so much and taught me a lot about writing and producing and creating. And I got signed to a major record label when I was only 18, I was still in high school. Um, I've got to travel the whole world. I had a, had a song, Liar Liar, that, that went number one around Europe and um, really got to see the world through that, which opened my eyes a lot and uh, just helped further my development in music. Um, so everything, everything's gone really amazing and, and uh, has been progressing really cool. So now I got, I got this new song, you know, Just Wanna Love You, that's come out through Sony and uh, we're pushing that. So we got Erica from DC. If you were on Steve Harvey's Family Feud, who would you who would be on your team? I, I usually, from what I understand, it's usually your family. But if, if I had the option, I'd probably, probably hire a, a very smart, false fake family that would be really good at answering questions. That way I have the upper leg. Sandra from Akron. What would be your dream pimped out tour bus? I'd probably go with the, the tour bus that Will Smith has. He has like a, a two-story expanding tour bus that has a gym and has like a, uh, a juice machine and all sorts of crazy Will, stuff, Will Smith stuff. I'd probably go with, with that. We got Hector from Mexico City. Hector says, I love your song, Liar Liar. It got me through a rocky relationship with my girlfriend, Maria. How did you come up with the lyrics? Well, Hector, um, the lyrics are not, people ask me that all the time, the lyrics are not from one girl in particular. It's, uh, it's kind of a, a mixture of a lot of different relationships. I wrote the song with Pharrell, so we kind of talked about a bunch of different relationships we've had, and we kind of blended all that into to one song. So I don't know how it pertains to your girlfriend, Maria, but I wouldn't look, look too into it. Uh, we got Barbara from Dayton. If you could trade personalities with any artist for a day, who would you choose and why? Hmm, that's a good, uh, that's a good question. I'd probably choose, hmm, I'd probably choose maybe Bob Marley because uh, Bob Marley is probably my greatest inspiration in music. And I love what he stood for and I loved his message behind the music and I loved his uh, positive energy. He really spoke about love healing the world and, and everybody coming together to unite. So I think that's, that's who I trade personalities with for the day. 
we got Amber from Columbus. If you have one whole day to yourself, what would you do? I'd honestly probably Netflix and chill and eat some of my favorite foods and drink some of my favorite wines. That'd probably be my choice. We got Dana from Albany. Can you recreate your driver's license pose? Well, that was easy. I was 16 years old. It was just like this. Because at that time, I'd been waiting four hours in the DMV, and it was kind of a nightmare. So that explains that face. We got Monica from Auburn. What's the latest merch you have for sale? Funny you ask, Monica. The latest merch I have is a, is a very comfortable, very comfortable bathrobe, 90% cotton, 10% polyester. It has my face on the back, smoking a tobacco pipe, kind of doing one of these. And it's a very comfortable, very, very bath friendly. So it's a bathrobe. Oh, that looks like all the questions there. Well, my new song featuring Jay Balvin is called Just Wanna Love You. Thanks again for watching my exclusive iHeart Radio Ask Anything chat. And thanks to Romeo and iHeart for having me on. Peace out.